now we're going to show you how to install a repair kit and replace the plunger. Raise the handle up all the way and loosen the square head set screw. Once the square head set screw is loosened, close down the handle and tighten down the square head set screw. You want to repeat this process until the rod hits the top of the handle and you can't close the handle down any further. What this does is it ratchets the rod up further off of the valve body so that the plunger doesn't get stuck in the bottom when you take the head off. Loosen the packing nut and loosen the square head set screw as well. Once both of those are loosened, now you're ready to take the head off. With your two pipe wrenches, one on the pipe and one on the head, turn off the head casting. If the head is still connected to the rod and will not come off, grab a hold of the coupling nut on the rod and pull the head up off of the rod. If this is still does not work, make sure that you have loosened the packing nut as well as the square head set screw. Once you have the head off, grab the coupling nut between the extension rod and the rod itself and twist the rod to the right. What this does is it ensures that the plunger is screwed on all the way to make sure the plunger doesn't get left down in the bottom of the hydrant when you pull the rod out. With your pliers or vice grips, grab a hold of the metal part of the plunger and then with your pliers, grab a hold of the coupling on the other side of the hydrant and twist the plunger off. Now you're ready to stall, install your new plunger. Your new plunger comes in a bag with a silicon based lubricant on the plunger. Make sure that you spread this lubricant all around the plunger before installing it down into the pipe. Screw on your new plunger and make sure it's securely tightened down. Put the rod back down into the pipe with your new plunger screwed on to the rod. Push down the rod all the way as far as you can. With your pipe wrench or a block of wood, make sure you tap down on the top of the rod to ensure that the rod is all the way down and the plunger goes down into the valve. The next thing that you want to do is take off the fulcrum bolt and nut that connects the handle to the top of the head. When you take out the fulcrum bolt and nut, slide the top of the handle off the top of the head, unscrew the packing nut, and with a tool, push out the two old o-rings from the bottom of the head. 
Now you're ready to install two new O-rings. Place your first O-ring in the packing area and push down with the tool. Place your second O-ring on the threads of the packing area and push down. Make sure that you leave enough room pushing the O-rings down that you're able to screw on the packing nut. Screw on the packing nut and make sure you just hand tighten down. Take your old links and connector off the top of the handle and install your two new links and the connector between the links. The next step is attaching the top of the handle to the hot top of the head with the fulcrum bolt and tighten it down with the nut. Now that you've replaced all the parts on the head, now you're ready to put the head back on the hydrant. If you did not pre-lubricate the O-rings, make sure that you use some of the leftover lubricant from the plunger and lubricate the rod so that the O-rings slide down onto the rod. Put the head down over the rod, putting the rod through the packing nut and up through the connector. Do not tighten the packing nut or the set screw and turn on the hydrant. With your two pipe wrenches, one on the pipe and one on the bottom of the head, tighten down the head until you can't tighten any further. Now that the head is tightened, tighten down the packing nut. Also tighten down the square head set screw. If you're unable to close the handle down because the rod is up too high, loosen the square head set screw and close the handle down and then tighten the square head set screw. If the handle just falls down and you feel no pressure, raise, loosen the square head set screw, raise the handle up to 90 degrees parallel to the ground and tighten the square head set screw. Close the handle up and down and make sure that the plunger snaps in place. If your hydrant is still leaking, you will need to do an adjustment with the square head set screw and the handle. Loosen the square head set screw, raise the handle up to about 90 degrees parallel to the ground and tighten the square head set screw. Close the handle down and the leak should stop. Place your hand underneath the spout of the hydrant where the hose connection is and see if you can feel a suction. If you all do, the hydrant is draining properly. If you have any other problems or any questions, please give us a call at 800-241-1935 or visit us at www.simmonsmfg.com.